Hey everyone, let's go over how to create an AI skybox with Blockade Labs tool and upload easily into Spatial. First thing you need to do is go to the link provided in the post where you can download this sample skybox from Spatial. You will go right there to skybox sample, click download, and it will drop the file onto your hard drive. You now want to extract that all somewhere. Then after that, go to the Blockade Labs website, link provided in the post. Now you're going to get your first prompt. Go into the create new and type in whatever you like in order to create your awesome skybox. Once you've gone through and typed that all in, hit generate. Wait a little bit and then you will get your first skybox. Pretty neat, huh? Now what you can do is, is you can alter this further. Go ahead and use the drop down menu and switch it to something else like psychedelic illustration, hit generate. That's pretty cool. So you have your first skybox now. All right. What you're going to want to do from this point is you're going to want to download it. You're going to go ahead and click the download button and then you're going to select JPEG. Download that and it will drop it onto your hard drive. Now you need to rename this file. You're going to then go to the location on the hard drive where it downloaded it and then we're going to rename it to texture all lowercase to match what's in the skybox sample files that you downloaded earlier now open the skybox sample folder and you're going to copy what you just renamed to texture you're going to go into the sample skybox and then you're going to paste and overwrite what's currently there now that you've done that you can now go to the GLB Packer website. Link is in the post. What you're going to do is to select all three files in that sample skybox, and then you're going to drag them into the packer. Nothing else required. Once you drop it in, it will spit out a GLB file for you. Now you want to rename that GLB file to what your first skybox is going to be. I just call it test skybox one or test one. Call it whatever you like and save it wherever you like if you want. Now you're going to go to Spatial. Create a space after you log in and go to into the Upload Custom Space. You're going to get our abstract environment. In order for this to work, you need to have an environment set first before you put the skybox in. I like to use Sketchfab. And then you're just going to type in environment and it's going to give you a whole bunch of free environments that you can use. I like using the Alien World Explorer because it's small and simple and comes in easily. Once it's in, you're now going to set that as the environment. So set custom environment, choose environment, and it will pop in. Once it's there, you will go ahead and say it looks good. Now you're ready to add your skybox. Return to where you have your renamed skybox and just drag it into spatial. It's as simple as that. You'll get the nice little globe and you're going to want to now click on that. And then you're going to set it custom environment to skybox and boom you're all done. Do it as many times as you like. Have fun.